a hi guys and people who don't identify as guys. Um, it's going to be Saturday when you see this. It's actually Thursday now, but who's counting? Um, I like to make my video a few days in advance so that if there's something I want to reconsider, I kind of got the time to do so. So, for the purposes of discussion, it's Saturday and the topic this week is about fatherhood. This is a topic that actually brings up quite a lot of difficult feelings for me. Um, I'm in a long-term relationship with somebody um, who doesn't particularly want kids, and I can really respect that. His lifestyle doesn't lead him to have the ability to raise children. Um, he works long hours and has to travel a lot for work, and now I'm cool with that, but that just wouldn't work. Um, when bringing up kids, and I totally respect that, I don't have any problem with that, and the last thing I'd want to do is bring children into a house where they couldn't have everything they needed. Um, but that combined with the fact that I'm disabled and currently seem to be worsening means that kids aren't really on the radar for us. Um, I couldn't be the primary parent to a child with the physical disabilities I have. It wouldn't be possible and it wouldn't be fair on the child, in my opinion, to bring them into an environment where they essentially had to be, to some extent, my carer. So for me, kids aren't really on the radar. I get quite rudy, I guess, though. Um, I really want kids. I'd love to have that. I think I'd be an awesome dad. The flat we've got now isn't perfect, but it'd be really brilliant for a kid nonetheless. Till a good sort of four or five. We've got terrace with a beautifully high bunk rail. We've got nice, nice flat basically, two bedrooms with a kid sized bedroom and adult sized bedroom. It would just be, I don't know, I find it really hard to face up to the fact that I'm not likely to ever have kids. Um, neither of us are particularly fussed about the idea of biological kids if we were to have children. Um, his mother would quite like biological kids of, biological grandkids, sorry, but for us Neither of us have great genes, and we both kind of agree that adoption will be the better way forward, especially seeing as we're also, well, I'm on T, and he's very probably infertile. Still, like I said, none of this is particularly likely to happen anyway. Maybe I can see myself fostering teenagers in the future, but, you know, who really knows what? I've still got three years of my degree left. I don't know, this is a really short video for me this week because actually it's quite a difficult topic for me to talk about because it ties in so much to my health. I've really enjoyed the other videos I've watched and I'm sure will enjoy other videos I am yet to watch. Thank you guys.